one thing that the ACT might ask you to do is find the area of a circle. Here's a pro tip. All you need to know is the circle's radius, and you can figure out the area pretty quickly. And it works the other way around, too. If you know the area, you can always find the radius. Let's start with some basic vocab. The radius of a circle is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. To find the area of a circle, we need to use the equation area equals pi times radius squared. Now let's use this equation to solve a practice ACT problem. The radius of a circle is 32 over pi centimeters. What is the area of the circle? The answer choices represent the area of the circle. We'll start by underlining our facts, circling our keywords, and labeling those answer choices. As they didn't give us a picture, draw a picture of a circle and label the radius 32 over pi. This question is ready-made for the area equation. We know that the radius is equal to 32 over pi, so if we use the area equation, area equals pi times r squared, we can plug in pi times 32 over pi squared. If we use the calculator to square 32, we get 1024 times pi over pi squared. And if we simplify that, pi cancels out, and we find that our area is equal to 1024 over pi, which is choice H. The other thing that the ACT may ask you to do is to find the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the length of the outside of the circle. You'll need to have the radius of the circle to find the circumference. Once you have it, you just need to plug it into the equation. The equation for finding the circumference is circumference equals 2 times pi times r. All right, now that we have the equation covered, let's try an ACT problem where we find the circumference of the circle. The area of a circle is 25 pi square units. What is the circumference of the circle? A is 5, B is 10, C is 5 pi, D is 25, and E is 10 pi. Let's underline our facts, circle our keywords, and label our answer choices. Since we don't know the radius but do know the area, we can use the area formula to figure it out. We know the area, or 25 pi, is equal to pi r squared, so we can find the radius by dividing by pi and then taking the square root of both sides to find that the radius is 5. Now that we have the radius, we can find the circumference by plugging it into the formula circumference equals 2 pi r. So the circumference is 2 times pi times 5, or 10 pi, which is answer choice E. The last concept we're going to cover in this lesson is the word tangent. Maybe your English teacher has scolded you for going off on a tangent in one of your essays, but now we're going to talk about tangents in terms of geometry. Tangent lines touch the circle in only one place but do not go through the circle itself. They make a right angle with the radius of the circle. Now that we're brushed up on our circle-specific vocab, let's look at a test question. In the figure below, the line segment PQ is tangent to the circle at point P. R is a point on the circle and on line segment OQ. If the radius of the circle is 5 and the length of PQ is 12, what is the length of RQ? A is 6, B is 7, C is 8, D is 10, and E is 13. Let's underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. OK, because PQ is tangent to the circle, we know that OPQ is a right triangle. In order to find RQ, we need to first use the Pythagorean theorem to find OQ. So we know that OP squared plus PQ squared equals OQ squared, or 5 squared plus 12 squared equals OQ squared. If we plug 5 squared plus 12 squared into our calculator, we find that OQ squared equals 169, and we can take the square root of that to find that OQ is 13. But we're looking for RQ, not OQ. Since OR is the radius of the circle, we know that OR is 5. So RQ equals OQ minus OR, or 13 minus 5, which is 8. So choice C is our correct answer. So that's what a tangent means in geometry. A line that touches a circle at one point, but doesn't actually go through it. Now that we've gone over finding the radius and the circumference of a circle, you have enough knowledge of circles to circumnavigate the world of geometry. Although we're at the end of this lesson, you can still learn more about this topic. Use some practice problems to solidify your learning.